Karl Paul Polanyi, Hungarian, Polanyi Karoli, Pola I Ka Roj, October 25, 1886 to April 23, 1964, was an Austro-Hungarian economic historian, economic anthropologist, economic sociologist, political economist, historical sociologist, and social philosopher. He is known for his opposition to traditional economic thought and for his book, The Great Transformation, which argued that the emergence of market-based societies in modern Europe was not inevitable but historically contingent. Polanyi is remembered today as the originator of substantivism, a cultural approach to economics, which emphasized the way economies are embedded in society and culture. This view ran counter to mainstream economics but is popular in anthropology, economic history, economic sociology and political science. Polanyi's approach to the ancient economies has been applied to a variety of cases, such as pre-Columbian America and ancient Mesopotamia, although its utility to the study of ancient societies in general has been questioned. Polanyi's The Great Transformation became a model for historical sociology. His theories eventually became the foundation for the economic democracy movement. His daughter, Canadian economist Carrie Polanyi Levitt, born 1923 in Vienna, Austria, is emerita professor of economics at McGill University, Montreal. Topic: <laughs> Early life. Polanyi was born into a Jewish family. His younger brother was Michael Polanyi, a philosopher, and his niece was Eva Ziesel, a world-renowned ceramist. He was born in Vienna, at the time the capital of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Mihaly Polakczyk father of Karl and Michael Polanyi, was a railway entrepreneur. Mihaly never changed the name Polakczyk and is buried in the Jewish cemetery in Budapest. Karl and Michael Polanyi's mother was Cecilia Wohl. The name change to Polanyi, not von Polanyi was made by Karl and his siblings. Polanyi was well educated despite the ups and downs of his father's fortune, and he immersed himself in Budapest's active intellectual and artistic scene. Polanyi founded the radical and influential Club Galilei while at the University of Budapest, a club which would have far-reaching effects on Hungarian intellectual thought. During this time, he was actively engaged with other notable thinkers, such as Georg Lukacs, Oskar Jazzy, and Karl Mannheim. Polanyi graduated from Budapest University in 1912 with a doctorate in law. In 1914, he helped found the Hungarian Radical Party and served as its secretary. Polanyi was a cavalry officer in the Austro-Hungarian Army in World War I, in active service at the Russian Front and hospitalized in Budapest. Polanyi supported the Republican government of Mihaly Karoli and its social democratic regime. The Republic was short-lived, however, and when Bela Kun toppled the Karoli government to create the Hungarian Soviet Republic Polanyi left for Vienna. In Vienna From 1924 to 1933 he was employed as a senior editor of the prestigious Der Österreichische Volkswirt the Austrian Economist magazine. It was at this time that he first began criticizing the Austrian school of economists, who he felt created abstract models which lost sight of the organic, interrelated reality of economic processes. Polanyi himself was attracted to Fabianism and the works of G. D. H. Cole. It was also during this period that Polanyi grew interested in Christian socialism. He married the communist revolutionary Ilona Duzinska, of Polish-Hungarian background. Topic in London Polanyi was asked to resign from Der Österreichische Volkswirt because the liberal publisher of the journal could not keep on a prominent socialist after the accession of Hitler to office in January 1933 and the suspension of the Austrian parliament by the rising tide of clerical fascism in Austria. He left for London in 1933, where he earned a living as a journalist and tutor and obtained a position as a lecturer for the Workers' Educational Association in 1936. His lecture notes contained the research for what later became the Great Transformation. However, he would not start writing this work until 1940, when he moved to Vermont to take up a position at Bennington College. The book was published in 1944, to great acclaim. In it, Polanyi described the enclosure process in England and the creation of the contemporary economic system at the beginning of the 19th century. Topic United States and Canada Polanyi joined the staff of Bennington College in 1940, teaching a series of five timely lectures on the present age of transformation. 
The lectures, the passing of the 19th century, the trend towards an integrated society, the breakdown of the international system, is America an exception and Marxism and the inner history of the Russian Revolution, took place during the early stages of World War II. Polanyi participated in Bennington's Humanism Lecture Series 1941 and the Bennington College Lecture Series 1943 where his topic was Jean-Jacques Rousseau, or is a free society possible? After the war, Polanyi received a teaching position at Columbia University 1947-1953. However, his wife had a background as a former communist, which made gaining an entrance visa in the United States impossible. As a result, they moved to Canada, and Polanyi commuted to New York City. In the early 1950s, Polanyi received a large grant from the Ford Foundation to study the economic systems of ancient empires. Having described the emergence of the modern economic system, Polanyi now sought to understand how the economy emerged as a distinct sphere in the distant past. His seminar at Columbia drew several famous scholars and influenced a generation of teachers, resulting in the 1957 volume Trade and Markets in the Early Empires. Polanyi continued to write in his later years and established a new journal entitled Coexistence. In Canada he resided in Pickering, Ontario, where he died in 1964. Topic works Socialist Accounting 1922 The Great Transformation 1944 Universal Capitalism or Regional Planning the London Quarterly of World Affairs, Vol. 10 3, 1945. Trade and Markets in the Early Empires 1957, edited and with contributions by others Dahomey and the Slave Trade 1966, George Dalton ed., Primitive, Archaic, and Modern Economics, Essays of Carl Polanyi New York, Doubleday and Company, 1968, Collected Essays and Selections from His Work. Harry W. Pearson, ed., The Livelihood of Man, Academic Press, 1977. Carl Polanyi, For a New West, Essays, 1919-1958, Polity Press, 2014. ISBN 978-0745684444 Topic Notes Topic References McCrabbie, Kenneth, ed., 1994, Humanity, Society and Commitment, on Carl Polanyi, Black Rose Books Limited, ISBN 1-895431-84-0 McCrabbie, Kenneth, Polanyi Levitt, Carey, eds., 2000, Carl Polanyi in Vienna, The Contemporary Significance of the Great Transformation, Black Rose Books Limited, ISBN 1-55164-142-9 Mendel, Marguerite, Saleh, Daniel 1991, The Legacy of Karl Polanyi, Market, State, and Society at the End of the Twentieth Century, St. Martin's Press, ISBN 0-312-04783-5 Polanyi Levitt, Carey, ed., 1990, The Life and Work of Karl Polanyi, A Celebration, Black Rose Books Limited, ISBN 0-921689-80-2 Stanfield, J. Ron 1986, The Economic Thought of Karl Polanyi, Lives and Livelihood, Macmillan, ISBN 0-333-39629-4 Dale, Gareth 2010, Karl Polanyi, The Limits of the Market, Polity, ISBN 978-0-7456-4072-3 Further reading Robert Kuttner. The Man from Red Vienna. Review of Gareth Dale, Karl Polanyi, A Life on the Left, Columbia University Press, 381 pp, The New York Review of Books, Vol. 64, No. 20 the 21st of December 2017, pp. 55-57. To In sum, Polanyi got some details wrong, but he got the big picture right. Democracy cannot survive an excessively free market, and containing the market is the task of politics. To ignore that is to court fascism. Robert Kuttner, p. 57. Topic. External links The Karl Polanyi Institute of Political Economy, the Karl Polanyi Institute of Political Economy at Concordia University website. Karl Polanyi, The Great Transformation, The Political and Economic Origins of Our Time 1944 Review Essay by Anne Mayhew, College of Arts and Sciences, University of Tennessee Profile on Karl Polanyi, on the History of Economic Thought website The Free Market is an Impossible Utopia 18 July 2014, The Washington Post
A conversation with Fred Bloch and Margaret Summers on their book, The Power of Market Fundamentalism, Karl Polanyi's Critique Harvard University Press, 2014. The book argues that the ideas of Karl Polanyi are crucial to help understand economic recessions and their aftermath. Works by or about Karl Polanyi at Internet Archive